What if you could glimpse the future of air combat? The future is now. The secret American fighter jets and aerial weapons of tomorrow are being developed today. Incredibly powerful engines to push fighters to the edge of space. Sophisticated helmet systems to give pilots a 360 degree view of the battlefield. And stealth technology, invisible aircraft that can strike anywhere in the world at a moment's notice. But with every advance, potential enemies will be sure to counter, even striking in space. This isn't science fiction, but actual scenarios based on known developments. A glimpse of what's coming very soon. Experience what's to come. Dissect the tactics. Witness the awesome spectacle of the dogfights of the future. Twentieth of June, twenty sixteen. A United States Coast Guard air rescue helicopter races into hostile territory. America's military is on high alert. A civilian aircraft has been shot down by a foreign power, and a rescue effort must be mounted. To provide air cover, the Air Force scrambles a flight of four aircraft, F-22 Raptors, the most formidable fighter aircraft ever constructed. The Raptors, stealth fighters, streak into the danger zone at over 1,000 miles per hour, Mach 1.5. They are virtually invisible to enemy radar. The F-22 is just one of a lethal new breed of fighting machines that are even now redefining aerial warfare. Quantity is a quality all of its own, and the Western world is very much putting its eggs in the basket of high technology, fewer numbers that can achieve the same effects on the target because you have precision and stealth. These amazing machines are the culmination of a century of fighter aircraft development. The first combat aircraft, or so-called Generation 1 fighters, took to the skies during the First World War. Aeroplanes like the Fokker D-7 and the Sopwith Camel pioneered fighter aviation with top speeds of just over 100 miles per hour. Generation 1 reached its apex in the Second World War. Aircraft like the P-51 Mustang and the German BF-109 could fly and fight at well over 400 miles per hour. But by the close of that war, the first Generation 2 fighters, jets, up the ante. One of these, the German ME-262, could fly at over 500 miles per hour. After the war, the United States and the Soviet Union developed their own Generation 2 aircraft, like the F-86 and the MiG-15. They pushed speeds to over 600 miles per hour, near the sound barrier, in clashes over Korea. Lessons learned in the Korean War, coupled with far more advanced electronics, spurred a leap in speed and killing power for Generation 3 aircraft like the F-4 Phantom and the Soviet MiG-21. They were capable of over twice the speed of sound, some 1,400 miles per hour. Third gen began to introduce avionics types of engagements, radar-guided missiles, and the air-to-air -air engagement. By the early 1970s, Generation 4 fighters like the American F-14 and F-15 were deployed. These aircraft featured far more sophisticated avionics, the electronics suite that encompasses navigation, radar, and weapons. In developing the Gen 4 fighters, not only did they have a whole lot more computer power to work with, but it was a mindset change to create the ultimate killing machine. But no matter how fast or well-armed, 
The advance of ground radar and surface-to-air missiles during the 1970s and 80s meant that entire sections of sky could be denied to even the finest Generation 4 aircraft. The life expectancy for a Gen 4 fighter over anywhere that we may go in the near future is, is very little. And I'd say easily 50% loss is only because the enemy is not going to have enough missiles to shoot these guys down. To survive and dominate this environment, radical new technologies were needed. Enter the F-22, the world's first generation five fighter. First proposed in the 1980s, the F-22 is a single seat fighter. It was unveiled to the public in 1997 and delivered to the US Air Force in 2003. Its true top speed, a closely guarded secret, is well over 1,400 miles per hour. It's heavily armed with six radar-guided missiles and two heat-seeking missiles. The F-22 Raptor, I saw that first at Andrews back in 91. If Kim Basinger was an airplane, that's the one she'd be, just a startlingly beautiful aircraft. It outperforms the F-15 every regime when it's invisible to radar. It don't get much better than that. Initially, when the jet was conceptually designed, it was always meant to be an air-to-air -air fighter because it was supposed to replace the F-15C, and that, uh, that jet's main role in mission in the Air Force was an air superiority platform. Now, a flight of F-22s will employ a startling array of high technology in a hypothetical future combat scenario. Four Raptors race to provide cover for an air rescue unit. The Raptors speed in with the aid of an advanced engine capable of supercruise, a revolutionary technology introduced in the F-22 that allows it to fly extremely fast while conserving fuel. Supercruise utilizes a powerful Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 engine and sleek aerodynamics to allow the F-22 to fly faster than the speed of sound for long periods of time without the aid of an afterburner. I can cover a whole lot more territory at Mach 1.5 than I can cover at 0.9 Mach. When I don't have to use afterburner to achieve that altitude and that airspeed, it allows me to stay up there longer. So I'm not wasting all my gas and I have a little bit more endurance. The Raptors arrive on station just as the Coast Guard begins the rescue. Then, the Raptors detect a formation of 14 enemy MiG-29s on radar. Suddenly, with no warning, the MiG-29s fire on the rescue helicopter. As the rescue helicopter's frantic radio calls fall silent, a stark realization sets in. The F-22 Raptors are now in a shooting war. They are outnumbered three to one. It's time to prove that the Raptors' technology really will make up for numbers. Their primary advantage and the cornerstone of Generation 5 technology is stealth. People don't understand how diabolical stealth is. A stealth aircraft is not completely invisible radar, but if you track the aircraft, it means you have to track every sparrow and dragonfly in the sky. Stealth is not only the shaping of the airframe, but the material is used in the airframe for the sole purpose of not reflecting radar pulses back to the bad guy's radar. That first came into what we call an attack airplane as opposed to a pure fighter in the F-117 Nighthawk. The F-117 used a uniquely shaped airframe to scatter radar energy. 
but the odd angles made it unstable in flight and the radar absorbent coating